Hi all and welcome back. I can't believe it's been a month since we saw you last. Um, welcome to OTM 532. I wanted to quickly review what to expect over the next few weeks because I know looking at the syllabus and looking at the readings um, can be a very intimidating. So the neuroscience book um, it's a fairly small book. Uh, the content is dense, but I have included PowerPoints directly um, created by the publisher that go with each chapter. So that should help to kind of contain some of the information and plot out some of the more important points. Speaking of important points, what we do as OTs when it comes to neuro is recognize that we're treating the human, we're not treating the diagnosis. So it's critical that we understand the anatomy, the neuroanatomy to include the brain and the spinal cord, um, upper motor, lower motor neurons, nerves, innervations, you know, what all we need to understand what all of that means because it helps us understand what the different diagnoses are. But as OTs, we don't treat Parkinson's as the disease, we treat the human who happens to have Parkinson's disease. So we need to understand what to expect when we see that diagnosis because we know what neurologically. Neuro, from a neuroanatomy standpoint, we know what to expect when we see that diagnosis. So with that in mind, when you read the content for the next 14 weeks or however many weeks we're together, um, know that we will test you in a way not necessarily pinpointing what the dendronite is, but understanding how that then impacts somebody's function, somebody's occupational performance. So for the readings in the, the first two weeks, it's really we're just delving into neuroanatomy. We're diving into what are the structures? Um, what is OT's role when it comes to neuro? And along with that, what is OT's role? Recognizing that this class is very unique from the other classes that you have taken so far and what you will be taking later this semester and through the rest of your um, time at Trinity because it is an OT process in its entirety class. And we'll discuss this again when we meet um, face to face, but we will be looking at the whole OT process from the B assessment. So when you read your pages 17 through 28 of the OTPF, the evaluation assessment, the, inter um, the treatment planning, the development of the intervention plan, and then discharge planning. So we will be uh, covering all that whole OT process versus in your other classes, let's say uh, 535, where we're really just focusing on the assessment, the evaluation component. And then next semester, you will be uh, focusing on the intervention component. But this class, it's like everything crammed in, not crammed. There is a logical order, but all of that um, in one class. So it, it's pretty big, it's pretty dense, but you're gonna learn a lot and it's really, really fun. So, as I said, when you get into your readings, try not to panic when you see the number of chapters. They're relatively small. Um, when we, you get further into the semester and we dive into Padretti, remember Padretti, which you have not actually had the text yet, you had your Willard and Spackman, this is your new um, text for the semester, is your OT go-to, especially when it comes to studying for your exam. So this is 60% of the questions that are written for your NBCOT exam will be written directly from the information in your Pedretti book. So going through those chapters, 
you will see them again and again and again through the other classes for OT um, M 532 you'll see those same chapters in 535 because we use all of the concepts in those chapters across the spectrum of OT across the lifespan across practice settings um, so you will hear the information again and again but the information might be used in a different way depending on the practice setting that you're addressing with within that chapter so for example 532 we're talking neurologically involved clients whereas in 535 you'll still read the same chapter but the lens is a little bit different because we're looking at it from a sensory motor perspective from a more physical disabilities perspective and that will make more sense um, when we're together and we're talking and we're having these conversations i think that's all i wanted to tell you um, so professor fitzpatrick and i will be teaching 532 with and so we'll meet with you um, please do not hesitate to send us an email if you have questions or if you want to have an office hours with myself or with professor fitzpatrick but make sure if you have specific questions related to the content or about the class that you cc us both so that we're if i'm not available Dr. Uh, Professor Fitzpatrick is um, responding to your email or vice versa. Um, so I hope this helped to sort of get you prepared for the um, upcoming weeks. Um, and all of the other assignments and the flow of the class, we will talk about next week. So I look forward to seeing you all then. Have a great rest of your or have a great day.